Hey guys, today we are in Morinomiya Station. What a beautiful day! Today we are heading to the Osaka's best sakura spot. It's middle of April, 23 degrees. Because the temperature gets much warmer, so many sakura finally starts blooming. So today we will explore the Osaka's best sakura spot starting from Osaka Castle and also the local sakura street as well. By the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seinok Gal. All right, so let's keep walking. Sorry, this is the Japanese version of the map, so maybe many of you don't understand, but let me explain. Here is the Osaka station. It's five stations away. This is the place that you want to visit for the Osaka Castle. And if you are heading to the Universal Studios Japan, Nishikujo Station, which is the three stations away, this is the place that you need to transfer the train. Actually, next to the Morinomiya Station, it's the Osaka Castle Park Station. But personally, I like to start the tour from Morinomiya Station. Morinomiya Station also, it's right in front of the Osaka Castle Park. And we can see so many sakura too. So if it's your first time to visit Osaka Castle, I recommend you to start the travel from here. Oh my goodness, seems like so many people in the Osaka Castle Park. <laughs> Let's keep walking. This year's sakura is much late compared to the regular year's sakura. So everyone was waiting for the sakura. No wonder. Well, even we haven't entered the park yet, but we are stuck here. This is like the totally different level. That's like the Matsuri Festival. <sighs> Finally, we could enter the park. Yep, after entering the park, it's much better. By the way, if you're coming from the Osaka Metro, that's the station entrance. And this is the park entrance looks like from Morinomiya Station. From here, already, we can see the beautiful castle with sakura tree here. Nice! Oh, seems like that's a food stall. Let's explore what we have here. They have soba, beef stew, and meatball. <laughs> it's pretty random. How about here? Oh, that's meat skewers. Oh, this food stall is something new. It's the sweet potato cake and also sweet potato karaage. Before coming over here, I was expecting this place could be super crowded because it's Sunday and finally Sakura Furi brooms. But this is totally different level. As you can see, there are so many people doing Ohanami, which is watching Sakura and having a party. Everyone enjoys eating and drinking. Since it is legal to drink alcohol in the public park, it is really popular to drink and having a party under the Sakura tree. During pandemic, most of the parks prohibited drinking alcohol in the park, so we couldn't do ohanami. However, this year's sakura was late, and the outside temperature was cold too, so many people were waiting this moment, and I totally understand their feeling too. If you walk to the castle, it takes about 10 to 20 minutes by walking, so there is a road train. Price is only 400 Japanese yen. If you are tired or you are with small kids, it's really convenient and fun. However, as you can imagine, there is a long line though. Oh my goodness, look at the line in front of Konbini. This is not the line for cashier, this is the line for entering Konbini. This is the longest line I've ever seen. Wow. And of course, there is a long line in front of Starbucks too. I'm not sure how long it will take to get the coffee. There are several reasons why this place became super crowded. First reason, today it's Sunday. Also, it's the last day of spring break for most of the students. So before starting their school, many parents bring kids to see Sakura tree. Also from tomorrow, it will be raining for several days too. I don't think Sakura will be gone, but definitely today is the best day to watch Sakura. Oh my goodness, can you take a guess what this long line for? Yes, unfortunately, that's for the restroom. It's like waiting line in the Disneyland. Ouch. Have you realized something? Yes, the sound is different. I usually use the sound when I film the video. However, accidentally, the video sound was not recorded. So that's why I'm using the voiceover now. Well, please don't worry, the sound will be back later. But when I realized the sound was not recorded, 
I was so shocked. Well, the footage you will see later too. Anyways, until the sound is back, let's keep walking with my voice over. So speaking of this footage, I was explaining how long usually the sakura stays after fully blooms. Usually after fully blooms, sakura stays about a week. So this year, probably sakura will be gone before the fourth week of April, I guess. By the way, I'm using the stair right now. However, if you use the different route, you don't have to use the stairs. So even you have the stroller or you can't use the stairs, you don't have to worry about it. After entering the first gate, there is one of the best view spot on the left side. Here, you need to go up the stairs. So even Osaka Castle is super crowded, but this place not that crowded. From here, we can see Tsuruhashi area. It is located in south part of Osaka Castle. There is a huge Korean town over there. It's much bigger compared to Shin Okubo Station's Korean town, which is located in Tokyo. I was explaining about the town with a smile, but after when I realized the sound was not recorded, this smile will be gone. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep walking. One of the reasons Osaka Castle became more popular compared to before, I believe it's because of the SNS. Many people coming over here to take photos of Sakura Tree. Well, as a local, it's good to see more travelers are coming to my hometown, so I am happy to see that. Before entering the Osaka Castle, let's stop by at the Hokoku Shrine. It's just in front of the Osaka Castle gate. Here, small Japanese history lesson time. Osaka Castle's owner named Hideyoshi Toyotomi was the one of the most famous shogun, which is the general of Japan. During the time, most of people were following their parents' job. For example, farmer's kids are farmer, and samurai's kids are samurai. However, Hideyoshi Toyotomi was a farmer's kids, but eventually he became the general of Japan at the end. Yes, it is a huge promotion, so this shrine is believed in giving a good luck for the promotion. And there are so many people coming over here to pray for the promotion from all over Japan. Hideyoshi Toyotomi, his nickname was Monkey. So if you come over here on the weekend, sometimes you can see the Monkey Show. Also, in front of the shrine, there are many food stalls as well. So if you visit Osaka Castle, don't forget to visit here too. Now we are heading to the main area of Osaka Castle. There are huge castle moat beside the castle. This side of the moat doesn't have water and the other side of the moat has water. This gate called Sakuramon Gate. It is a huge gate. After passing this gate, the main castle is just over there. Sweet, finally we arrived to the square. Until the square from Morinomiya station, it takes about 15 minutes by walking. You need to walk a while from the station, so if you don't want to walk, there is an electric car or a tram ride. It costs 400 Japanese yen for one way. In front of the Osaka castle, there is a building called Miraiza. Inside the building, there are shops and also restaurants. Inside the building, there is a nice rooftop terrace cafe too. Probably there is a long line for the cafe, but let's go check. Oh, there is an event of Detective Conan, and those people are making line for that. The restaurant is in upstairs, so let's go in up. Oh, look at that. Today, we are only for the customers with reservation. <laughs> totally makes sense. Maybe we can come back here next time after the spring break over. Probably we can find the seat much easily. Also, this side of the street, there are many stores, but just too many people, so maybe next time too. Here we go, finally we are here. In front of the Osaka Castle, there is a long line to enter. Probably it takes about an hour to enter it. Well, from here, I can already see there are so many people inside the castle too. Well, if you want to see inside the castle, definitely this is not the time to enter. During the Sakura season, you'd better watch Sakura, and maybe you can come back here next time. If you can't come back again, maybe you can watch my video. In front of the Osaka castle, there are nice music performers, but <laughs> unfortunately, the sound was not recorded. It was like shang shang boom, shang shang boom boom. <laughs> 
maybe not. <laughs> well, maybe next time Wave is here, you can listen to it. So, let's keep walking. After passing the Osaka Castle, probably the crowd will be better. We are heading to the Izakaya Toyo, which is a really popular Izakaya restaurant. So, Osaka Castle is a very popular place for the school trip. Every kid who grew up in Osaka, all of them at least once, well, maybe not once, I believe several times, visited Osaka Castle by the school trip. Compared to the time when I was a kid, this place is totally changed. During Sakura season, there were many travelers, however, most of them were from Japan. Nowadays, there are so many South Asian countries travelers here compared to the, that time, so I've been hearing so many different kinds of language other than English and Japanese. It's really diverse now. <laughs> Can you take a guess what I'm talking about? I was talking about how hungry I am. I was thinking to eat the food in the Osaka castle, but since it was too crowded, I couldn't find the food to eat. So now I need to find a place to eat. Kyobashi Station is this side. From Osaka Castle North Entrance to Kyobashi Station, it takes about 15 minutes by walking. On the way to go to Kyobashi Station, there are so many sakuras on the street too. Let's go by the riverside. There are so many sakura trees by the river. Look at this place. Even there are so many sakura trees but much fewer people. If you are just want to watch the sakura, definitely this is the better place. As you can see, on the street, there are already so many sakura petal. It took about an year to bloom the flower, but after fully bloomed, it's quickly gone. Yeah, that's what the sakura tree is, so if you want to see fully bloom sakura, you have to come over here right on time. Alright, here we go. You see the building in front of you, that's already Kyobashi Station. Let's keep walking. Now we are heading to Izakaya Toyo, which is a really popular restaurant in Kyobashi Station. Since it's really popular, probably we can't eat it over there, but if we are lucky, maybe we can try. Well, even we can't eat it over there, I can show you how to get there. So, let's go there. This is how the Kyobashi Station looks like. Oh, look at that! There is a 7-Eleven in this station. I am starving. Let me grab something to eat. Oh my goodness, look at this cheesecake. That's something new. So why not? Let's try this. And also, I wanna drink cafe latte too. Let's find a place to eat. Cafe latte is my favorite drink, especially the sweeter one. There are cafe latte machines in 7-Eleven, but I wanted to have the canned one so that I can carry after this. So I got the, this one. Also, the price is half compared to the machine one. And here we go, it's time for the cheesecake. Price was 230 Japanese yen. Already, I can smell super nice cheese flavor. There is a cookie on the bottom. It must be really good. <laughs> and you can take a guess what I'm saying. Yes, it's mecha oishi. Yeah, I was starving. Look at the happy face. It must be mecha oishi, right? <laughs> and now I'm saying psycho. Alright, sweet. Now we got the energy. Let's keep walking toward to Izakaya Toyo. Oh, look at that. Seems like there is something. I guess it's a something festival? I can read the word of Karaage. Oh, I see. So actually, there is a Karaage festival. Karaage is a deep fried chicken. Seems like there are so many Karaage stores over there. Also, seems like they are having some festival for the kids too. That's interesting. Alright, so let's get closer. Seems like there are so many different karaage store. All looks pretty good and <laughs> smells pretty good too. They are selling karaage and also the beer as well. How about the other side? Oh, seems like that's a basketball event for kids. Basketball was originally so popular in Japan because of the Slam Dunk, which is really popular anime. But recently, finally, we got the Professional Basketball National League, so it became more popular recently. Maybe there is a next Rui Hachimura over there. Well, according to the map, Izakaya Toyo is almost there. 
Kyobashi Station is located in north part of Osaka. Since I grew up in south part of Osaka area, so I usually go to the Namba area. That's why I know the town but not the familiar as much as Namba Station. Around here, the atmosphere is very local Osaka atmosphere. If you want to see Osaka local atmosphere, this Kyobashi Station is the place that you want to visit. For Izakaya Toyo, we still need to keep walking. Oh, that's a drinking restaurant. Seems like they have the tempura, karaage, and also happy hour too. The beer price is 240 Japanese yen. It's a good price, huh? I am not sure. Am I on the right place? Seems like I don't see any izakaya around here though. However, map says over here. Huh, let me see. Oh, I see. So that's Izakaya Toyo. And it seems like it's closing. Look at that. Holiday, Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. Well, I didn't know they have so many holidays. I was not planning to eat here, so it was okay. However, if you are coming to the Kyobashi station for Izakaya Toyo, make sure to check their operation time. Otherwise, you will be super disappointed. Anyways, today I could show you how to get here, so my mission is complete, and maybe we can come back here next time. Around this area, not only the Izakaya Toyo, but seems like there are so many small drinking restaurants, and the people are enjoy drinking. There is a big arcade in Kyobashi Station, so now let's explore the arcade. Oh my goodness, look at this restaurant. It looks pretty good. And the price is cheap as well. They have the Kirin drug beer. Well, it's not only for the happy hour, but the price is 180 Japanese yen. Oh my goodness, that's a good price. There is local yakitori restaurants. And this place smells so good. That's a yakiniku restaurant. Oh, seems like they have the local Matsui festival here. Even there are so many travelers in Osaka Castle, but this Kyobashi Station's local arcade, no travelers at all. I thought Kyobashi Station is a popular place for travelers, but I guess not, huh? Oh my goodness, look at this restaurant. They have the set menu items, three draft beer with one dish of food, only 1,000 Japanese yen. Around this area, there are so many small drinking restaurants with really good price. I believe it's very interesting place for travelers. However, for me, there are small restaurants and a full of customers inside the restaurant, so it is kind of hard to find a place that I can eat and film. And now, finally, I realized that the sound was not recorded when I checked the display. When I found out, I was a little bit just a little bit disappointed, so let me change it from the voiceover to the real voice. Oh my goodness, I just realized that audio was dead, uh, probably because of too many people over there and uh, someone hit my cam. At that time, the microphone's connection becomes bad. Uh, ouch. Well, probably I will do the voiceover so that the uh, footage is still can usable, but uh, I am really shocked. Yeah, sometimes it happens, but uh, it's Shogunai. So anyways, <laughs> yeah, let's keep walking. Wow, I was pretty shocked. So I was thinking and staying there about several minutes. Yeah, but let's see it. But let's see the bright side. Yeah, la yeah, let's. Yeah, now let's see the bright side. <laughs> Yeah, I was like a broken radio, but you can see from it how much I was confused and I was shocked. You know, sometimes technical problems happen, but recently they don't happen. So I should have been careful more. But it's okay. Let's go inside. About the audio, I'm just too sad. Let's do campai and forget about it. Here we go. I ordered the steak and also veggies. Plus beer. Ebis Bar is a chain restaurant. Pretty much you can find it many places in Japan. However, since the price is a bit expensive, I never come over here. However, you know, now is the time to cheer myself up. So I think good time to visit. So, Itadakimasu. 
Mm. Let's go here. I need to squeeze the lime. Okay. The kanai. Psycho. There is a wasabi and a radish plus lemon. Oh. Interesting. Itadakimasu. Mm. With wasabi, pretty good. <laughs> that was too much wasabi. Well, speaking of the audio, I usually check it every time, however, because it was just too crowded. So I was focusing on walking and taking photo, filming of Sakura, and I totally forgot checking about the audio status. <laughs> now it's working, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, mm. you know, just to say, my shotgun mic has a backup audio too, but probably it doesn't work it neither because there were no sound signals. Yeah, now I remember. I was walking in the Osaka Park, and some guy was just happened to hit the camera and also audio. Yeah, probably that was the time that my audio did it, and after that I should have checked it. Yeah, I should have, but... Well, you know, sometimes things doesn't go in well, but uh, yes, we gotta keep walking. So, let's keep walking <laughs> with steak and beer. There is a nice eggplant too. I love eggplant. Mm. Steak and wasabi with radish, it's pretty good. Mm. Okay. And since it wasn't enough, I ordered extra banya kauda with the vegetable and the banya kauda. <laughs> I don't know how to say it in English, but in Japanese called it banya kauda. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Itadakimasu. So we can just dip the veggie into it. Oh, actually, much shallower than what I thought. Anyways, itadaki. Mm. Mm. Let's over here. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is kind of like the weak fish flavor. Plus the garlic, also the sweetness of veggies, perfectly matches. I love banya kauda. Mm. I thought that's the deep fried chicken, but actually it was a potato. So it's perfectly matches with this deep fried potato too. Love it. Mm. You know, having a bad day, best food with beer is a perfect way to restart. <laughs> yeah, so let's keep walking. Mm. Psycho. Ooh, that was pretty good. The price was 3,400 Japanese yen. Thinking about the quality, I think it's pretty good. Now feels much better, so let's keep walking. Even in the small park, there are many people doing ohanami. Sweet. Seems like they are having the big party over there. After crossing this street, Sakura no Miya area is almost there. Sweet. We arrived to the Sakura no Miya. The riverside area. Despite the peaceful atmosphere and so many sakura trees, compared to Osaka Castle, much fewer people. <laughs> really peaceful and beautiful. Uh, seems like they are having the festival over there. There are so many food stalls. Now it's the beautiful time with sakura flowers. However, in the next week it will be more beautiful because sakura flowers petal is falling down. So it will be like, you know, sakura flowers shower. 
and the next video I am planning to visiting Kyoto from the next week finally the spring break will over for the students so the town will be much fewer people it will be really fun so if you haven't please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you will not miss my new video and also the live stream Kyoto's sakura will be more beautiful with temples the goal of 2024 hitting 200,000 subscribers so I need your help Arigato. please subscribe let's keep walking it's the park this park oh my goodness super peaceful atmosphere I love it all right let's go to the other side of the street the building in front of you that's the mint they have the pathway inside and it's one of the most popular sakura spot too however they only accept the limited number of people so you need to make the reservation the mint in japanese called zohei kyoku so if you want to see the zohei kyoku no sakura you get to make the reservation before visiting there otherwise you can't enter that's the zohei kyoku the mint street because of that there are more food stalls and more people decide we got enough crowds in the Osaka Castle Park, so let's go back to the other side of the street. That way, fewer people. That Don Quixote must be super crowded too though, because they have the discounted food and the drink. Many people eating and drinking under the sakura tree, so they can make good money. Sweet, more sakura trees are coming. Can you believe that? About two years ago, there were no one in the park because of the pandemic. But now there are just so many people, like nothing happened. You know, during the pandemic, I felt like the pandemic will never over. However, after passing the several months already, no one remembers about it. So here, let me give you guys a small Japanese lesson. It's a proverb, meaning even the hot water, if it go through the throat, you forget about the hotness. <laughs> so in this kind of situation, you can use it. So even you are having the hard time right now, ganbatte. After you go past the way, you will forget about it and it felt like nothing. So you can do it. Let's keep walking. Many people enjoying the marathon too. Under the sakura tree, it must feel pretty good. Oh my goodness, look at this sakura tree. It looks like the making the gate. <laughs> Feels like I am welcomed. One of the best part of this side, there is the man-made beach. It's like the Odaiba. Well, the water is not as clean as the regular water but you know so is Odaiba so so it's nice as Odaiba oh seems like the bridge is popular let's go check there oh sweet that's pretty the bridge with so many sakura trees it's like walking in the sakura gate huh I haven't walked here during the sakura season now I remember how nice it is we are almost at the station of sakura no miya meaning palace of sakura no wonder there are so many sakura trees right yes this is the Osaka sakura spot after crossing this bridge I think the station is almost there all right, I think we can place a camera. Wait, what is that? Is that the auto beaver? Oh, it's gone. Is it the wild beaver? I have no idea. How do you think? It's escaping from me though. Oh, over there too. Anyways, we can place a camera over here. Hope everyone enjoys the sakura walk through this video. I heard so many travelers 
make the travel plan during the regular Sakura season. However, this year, it's about two weeks late compared to the regular time so that the many people had to go back to their country before Sakura is blooming. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that, but uh, this kind of situation, no one can expect it. So even though you couldn't see the Sakura this year in Japan, hopefully you could enjoy the Sakura through this video. Yes, in the next video, we are heading to Kyoto. The Kyoto Sakura must be super beautiful too. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. Big thank you to all of my Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Alright, so see you in the next video. See the girl. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Well, speaking of the no audio, Sometimes it happens when I was using the wireless microphone, but after changing to the shotgun mic, and especially this one has the backup audio, so even sometimes I messed up the audio, it was fine. However, it was my first time having the no audio on the video. I was so sad when I checked the footage. Well, but you know, even in the good time and the bad time, I want to share with you guys through the video, and I can feel that. That's okay. You know, we are walking together, so we can go through. If you are having a bad time or you had a long day, even it's the tiny energy. If my video gives you a power, I am super happy. And that's the big meaning that I am making the video. So, ganbatte. Let's keep walking together. Alright, so this video, that's it. See you soon in the next video in Kyoto. So, shoo.